Hey guys, hope all's going well for y'all. It's about 10.30 here in the p.m. on a beautiful Monday night. I just got finished having an absolutely terrific time with some uh, dear friends of mine, my brother and his family, Kathy, his wife, and uh, the two girls, uh, Olivia, who's their eldest daughter, and uh, Katie, who's their youngest daughter, came. Jacob, who's their son, had to work tonight, so we didn't get to see him. And also two other guys that are like my brothers uh, that I'm just about as close to, uh, Roland Hooper, who I grew up with in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, the Hoopers were such close friends of ours. Uh, I have actually had his younger brother, Ryan, was my roommate for about a year. Just very deep friends of mine was there, as well as Joe Dickey, who I went to uh, middle school with back in kidney days and I've you know known for just forever it seems like came over to my mom's house tonight where we had curry and just great fellowship and talking about the good old days and back in the bush and wandering around Nairobi back in the 60s and 70s and just uh, it was a great time to go around old memory lane and catch up on old friendships and kind of share what we know about our other friends and where they were at uh, from literally all around the world and all around the country so it was uh, just a great time and my mom just did a fantastic job cooking curry so overall it was a terrific day I uh, also did some errands for my folks uh, this morning I fixed some stuff for them they were having some problems with this door and everything and having some car issues that helped kind of as we say in Swahili Tanganeza I was, I was repairing those things for them and that's always good to be able to come and do a little something for my my folks to help them out and I had a great time in downtown uh, Georgetown today where I went around the historic uh, area on the square and I, I love to see the different uh, uh, arts kind of craft places that they have that are uh, that are just prospering downtown and to see the uh, the buildings that used to be the Ace Hardware and have now been renovated to like uh, art from Mexico and to see how the the original building looked with the balcony and everything when it used to be you know back in the 70s everybody had that you know drop ceiling and God, it was just awesome to see how these buildings have been renovated and restored it's, it was very exciting and to have some good pictures which uh, will soon be on the web uh, I've downloaded them but I have to go up to uh, back to Atlanta so I can upload all those pictures but uh, take a look at the photo gallery click on the photo gallery and uh, you can see some some stuff from our trip to San Angelo and here in Georgetown and uh, the historic area it's, now that was just a tremendous a lot of fun and tomorrow I'll head back to the good old ATL I get on the uh, Delta the McDonnell Dus Douglas 88 MD 88 to fly into Atlanta I should be back home about eight o'clock in the evening something like that um, I should arrive back at the house about 8.30 or 9 something and then back in the saddle headed uh, straight over to uh, get work going on in, uh, in uh, Marietta having some issues to deal with on Franklin Road and big plans coming up uh, for a team in the summer and then I've got my big team with the three Greyhound buses about 140 people coming into town Sunday now work with the Sunday afternoon, do a couple block parties, and then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So busy week ahead for for Mr. Tim. It sounds all good. I'm pretty sure we're where we need to be. Uh, but as always, we need your prayers, and I appreciate y'all thinking about us and keeping me safe on our way home. And as always, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.